Good morning, guys. This is Crypto Dad here for with another video for all you crypto crazies out there. Today, I'm going to do a video about Cardano ADA. Um, it's a coin that I've been interested in for quite some time now. I did get in there very early on Cardano, um, and I'm now starting to see the rewards. I just wanted to give you guys a um, a, a bit of a, a rundown on what Cardano is, the team behind it, and where I think it's going, and why I believe that Cardano can can absolutely smash one dollar fifty, possibly moving up to the two dollar point um, in 2018. Remember, guys, any of the videos that I make, they are my opinion. <laughs> I'm not actually giving financial advice, but I am happy to. But I am keen to educate people on on the history of the coins and you know, give you kind of the, the places to go before you make a decision, before you invest. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel there. Give me a follow on Twitter. Give me a like if you think the video is um, good enough. And leave some comments on what you'd like to see moving forward and what videos you'd like from me, okay? So just to start, guys, uh, we're on the Cardano website here, and I just want to read kind of what their view of Cardano is and how they kind of spelled out on the first page of coming on the website. So Cardano state that Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project, fully open source, and Cardano is developing smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed. It's the first blockchain platform to evolve out of a scientific philosophy and a research-first driven approach, and the development team consists of a large global collective of expert engineers and researchers. So basically, guys, um, Cardano was um, a new coin. Um, back in, well, I think it was about 2017, okay, it managed to get into the top 10 in December, um, it was sitting at rank number 9, um, early December, I'd say, yeah, early December, with a, with a, um, a market cap of around about 3 billion US dollars, all right, um, it found itself firmly in the top 10 after a very, very impressive week, and it rose from around about 330 Satoshi to a high of around about 1,690. I believe that high was around about 1,690, around about $1.20. Um, and today it's currently trading at just under 93 cents. Okay, so it's had a massive, massive growth. All right. Um, and as always, guys, all right, there was a big boom with this. So considering the boom at the start of the... It, it, a lot of crypto community people in the crypto community were attempting to wrap their heads around what the currency currency actually is. And at first glance, it is it's a coin focused on scalability and accessibility. And they openly say that their primary goal is to create a coin that will be ready for mass adoption. So what they're doing there, they're being prepared for when the world sits up and says, "Holy shit, you, you know, we want to, we need to be, we want to use this cryptocurrency to to get our weekly shopping, to pay our bills. You know, this is what we want to do." And um, and Cardano are preparing for that. Okay, and that's what's so interesting about it. Um, now, should it occur, all right, should mass adoption occur, and beyond that, there are plans to implement smart contract features and other utilities currently associated with existing altcoins. As of now, though, Cardano's main net was launched, but smart contracts and other features are still in development. We will run through the roadmap, which you can see that. Um, and Cardano's main selling point is that the philosophy behind it um, and the team behind ADA claim that it's the only cryptocurrency derived from scientific philosophy and research-driven approach. Now, on the surface, that does sound revolutionary, guys, okay? But I've got to be honest with you, it's a bold, bold claim to make because there is certainly other cryptocurrencies out there that um, have relied on scientific and academic backgrounds. Um, one, for example, that comes to mind would be Enigma um, from MIT. Um, I mean, beyond that, okay, I've got to be honest, ADA, they are moving forward. Um, and at one point, there was no tangible developments in place. But when you look at the roadmap, you will see there's a lot of things progressing and there's a lot of plans. You will hear a lot of foot out there. You'll hear a lot of people kind of say, oh, you know, I don't know, it, it was a bit of a boom. People bought in it, but um, it'll slowly drop out of the top 10. But guys, I don't believe it will. And I hope by the end of this video, you you agree with me. Um, you know, it's went from, from nine to five. Uh, the only when we look at the when we look at the charts, you'll see the only time it's really had a drop in price is when the market has been in a sea of red, and it's held its own and it's climbing again. Okay, so where where I'd like to start um, would be with the team behind it. Okay, so the team behind it, um, 
would be these guys. Okay, so give me a look. So IOHK, all right, they were founded in 2015 by Charles Hoskinson and Jeremy Wood. We'll have a look at them in a second. Uh, they're a technology company committed to using peer-to-peer -peer innovations to provide financial services to 3 billion people who don't have them. I love this. I love these little laser beams on the cursor. <laughs> you know, simple things, guys, simple things, simple minds. Um, we're an engineered company that builds cryptocurrencies and blockchains for academic institutions, government entities and corporations, and we are a decentralized company that loves small, innovative teams. Okay, the farming and executing ideas that cause cascading disruption. Before we have a quick look at um, the, the founders, I just want to point out a few things. So this team are behind Cardano, um, Daedalus, Ethereum Classic, um, Quetidus, Quetidus, I'm not sure if I pronounced that, Scorex and RSI coin. I will be having a look at these at a later date. At the moment, obviously, we're here to look at Cardano. But you can get a, um, have a look on this. I'll put this uh, this website in the description, along with the actual Cardano site, which we'll visit soon. You guys can have a look and um, have a read through and make your own decisions. Okay, so, um, yeah, we'll have a quick look. I'm not going to run you through every person on the team because you'll see the team behind this is huge. Very, very solid team. I've had a look through this myself, okay? Um, and, you know, the team, especially the research and development team, and the research follow fellows, they come very, very good stock, very, very educated people. They've all been involved in cryptocurrencies and, and very technical projects throughout their careers. Um, and that to me is a fantastic sign. You know, these people don't want to be plastering their photographs up here, plastering their credentials um, on, on a website and being linked to a project or a coin that they don't believe in and that they think is not going to be a success. So the two founders, guys, is Charles Hoskinson, okay? Um, he's a Colorado-based technology entrepreneur. This is the guy here. Um, he's a mathematician. He ended, attended Metropolitan State University of Denver and University of Colorado um, at Boulder to study analytic number theory prior to moving into crypto cryptography via industry exposure. His professional experience, this is where it gets interesting, include founding three cryptocurrency-related startups, Invictus Innovations, Ethereum and IOHK and a, ver and a variety of colorful positions in the public and private sector. He was a founding chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation's Education Committee and established the Cryptocurrency Research Group in September of 2013. His current projects focus on education of cryptocurrency topics, evangelism of decentralization and making cryptographic tools easier to use for the mainstream. So this guy is no fool, okay? And he's been involved with some very, very exciting projects. I've actually went away and looked at some of these projects. Um, you can Google them and Google the projects and you can find out exactly what they're doing. Very, very innovative. You know, this guy has a, has a thinking brain on his on his shoulders. And that ties into what I've just told you there, that they're planning for the future. They're planning ahead. Okay. And then we have his partner. In, oh, whoa, come on. Come on, crypto dad. We have his partner in crime here, Jeremy Wood. Okay. So Jerry Wood, immediately upon finishing Iona at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, Jeremy Wood picked up a suitcase, bought a one-way ticket to Asia, living in Osaka, Japan. And since 2008, Jeremy was bitten by the crypto bug in 2013 and is a founding member of the Kansai Bitcoin meetup. He soon became entranced by the potential of next-generation blockchains and joined Ethereum. These two guys have been in Ethereum. They've seen how it's went. They've seen how it's progressed. And now they're here. Okay, guys. Um, and he was actually managing operations there. After leaving Ethereum, Jeremy consulted on cryptocurrencies he, before starting in input output with Charles Hoskinson um, in 2015. And Jeremy believes that the future of fintech will progress only through experimentation and research and by promoting collaboration between diverse groups and organizations. Again, you know, these are the kind of guys you want leading your team. These are the kind of guys, the experience, the, the intellect, the brains that you want leading a team. All right forward thinking team as i see you can have a look in here and have a read through um the full team see you know you can learn who's who's going to be kind of um pushing your investment forward okay um and i will as i say i'll post the link in the description if we come on to the cardano website um this is the bit that i read to just read to you there you can have a look in here. There's a few links of what is Cardano. You know, I've already covered that in my own words. And um, there's a lot of white papers in here. Very, very exciting. These, to be honest with you, this the philosophy behind Cardano. You can have a read into this. Um, you know, very, very interesting. Um, 
and just want to caught my eye at the bottom as I start to scroll up. They want to find a healthy middle ground for regulators to interact with commerce without compromising some core principles inherited from Bitcoin. Um, you can have a look at this. They want to acknowledge the need to account for multiple assets in the same ledger. It's real, real interesting. But what I love about this as well, there's actually some academic papers on here. Some, you know, it might seem a little bit geeky, but I like to know where my money's going. You know, I'm I'm not a gambler, you know, I'm in, I'm investing and I need to know, I need to be educated on this. So that's, this is all worth a look um, if you're planning on putting your, your hard earned funds in here. You can come into the roadmap here and you can have a look. Um, you know, you got you guys on idiots. I'm not going to sit and read every little thing to you, but you can have a look at the Byron stage, how it's moved on. You can see that um, September 2017, the launch, the mainnet was launched successfully. Um, then when they got to this point, you know, Byron established the baseline for Cardano and allowing users to trade and transfer ADA. Shelley is focused on ensuring that key elements are in place so the technology goes into fully decentralized and autonomous system expected by Q2 2018. So this is stuff they're working on. This is all stuff for the future, guys. You can see where the progress is at 75%. You can click into different things. You can, um, you know, it's a very, very intricate um into the roadmap which allows you to see some fantastic things these are all things that are happening now things that are progressing things that they are going to be finalized by q2 um that's when you're you're going to see a bigger push on cardano ada and this is one of the reasons why people are investing and people believe in it because the team is out there they're being open and honest and showing us where they are and what they've got some very exciting things down the line might i just try and find it they want a partnership um, with China Accelerator and Mox. If you don't know who they are, you can have a quick Google of them. Um, they want to have an investment in blockchain project in Shanghai. I mean, look, they, they haven't just um, put their fingers in the air, grabbed a pen and jotted this shit down. This is stuff they've thought about. This is stuff that obviously is in the, is in the, the pipeline, but they probably they haven't started work on it yet. They've probably made an agreement or had a conversation with somebody. But this is what I love, debit cards. We've seen it in the past with other cryptocurrencies. A lot of them have recently just um, fell off the earth. You know, they've just been they've just been banned or whatever for whatever reason. But these guys are looking forward and recreating debit cards, so you can go out and you can just spend it in a shop um, as you would spend your fiat cash. I love this kind of forward thinking. This is where I see the world going. And this is why I, why I'm into cryptocurrencies. This is why I love it. Yeah, I'm here for money, but I'm here for the future and how it changes it. I guess all you guys are as well. And I just want to finish off, guys, by kind of showing you the apart from all of that the market and and why the market kind of shows that this is going in the correct direction so the max supply of cardano was 45 billion total supply is 31 um billion or just over second supply at the minute is 25.927 billion close to 26 billion um they've had a, the trading volume in the last 24 hours is 472 um, million okay and the market was 24 over 24 billion bear in mind what i told you earlier that um these guys came in at number nine with a three billion market cap back in December. So that's the kind of growth they've had. I'm going to show you on the chart, which is why I find this very, very interesting. So back here, look, things were little, things were steady. They were just moving along. There was little, little bits of growth, nothing major, just plodding along, plodding along. Get to December, we start on the on the, on the rise. Okay, so we start on the rise, um, and you can see that we they're about 13 cents 10 cents 11 cents around about this point is when i kind of sat up and listened um and got in the cardano good choice as you'll see it the the price then kept starting to rise if you remember around about this time 18th of december coming up to christmas the arse fell out of the market we were sitting in a red of uh, in a sea of red and cardano dropped like every other coin did you know um but then it recovered um, and, it, and it recovered, but it didn't just recover, it recovered, and then it was heading to its all-time highest after that. So, it, yeah, things happened a little bit quick, um, early January. Boom, here we go. We hit around about $1.26, I believe, if I can get on there, $1.26, yeah. Um, and then we had a little bit of a correction. Then over the last few days, again, guys, what's happened? Big sea of red. We've had a lot of um, wheels kind of selling, trading, selling, trading. We've seen it a lot in, in Frontier X and, and Ripple XRP. But look, again, you know, it's starting to recover and it's doing this on its own. So this shows that there's a the solid support for this coin. All right. It hasn't kind of came all the way back to here. It hasn't even came back to here. It's dropped 
a little bit and it's recovering. And I believe that um, it'll hit, it'll it'll surpass the 126 all time high uh, in no point at all. Um, I believe for 2018, Cardano ADA is easily going to surpass $1.50 and be moving to the $2 mark. Um, as I know some of you guys, you know, don't like to be using this and just like to see something in, in plain black and white. So you can click historical data and it will give you a month to month blow. Okay, I like to go on on something a little bit more intricate, but you can get a month to month blow here from the 13 cents where it went. You see it all ties in with any price drops within Cardano has been when there's been a sea of red across the board. Okay. So guys, that's uh, my video on Cardano ADA. I uh, hope you liked it. Um, give me a subscription on youtube um give me a like leave some comments let me know what you want moving forward um give me a follow on twitter and guys just give us a little share on your own social media as well we get the word out there um you know crypto dad is building a community where we can learn and share and, and all be successful together in this uh in this crazy world catch you later guys